On Thursday, October 8th, Rochester Students for a Democratic Society called a peaceful meeting to discuss having a press conference regarding the police brutality from the October 7th Peace March. The meeting began in a community space parking lot in the Cornhill neighborhood, and within 30 minutes, police cars began to slowly circle the meeting. Continuously during the meeting, various police cars would drive slowly by, turning around and even parking to observe on all the adjoining corners of the parking lot where the meeting was taking place. As the meeting continued, a police SUV arrived at the location. They pulled out a video recorder and aimed it directly on the members having a meeting. Can I help you? Police engaged in open video surveillance for over 30 minutes. No less than a dozen cop cars, most with two officers, held surveillance over the group for approximately an hour and a half. At one time, five cars parked and surrounded the meeting. One member was suspiciously pulled over immediately after leaving the parking lot, identified, and then released. Checking in what's uh, what's going on here. Okay, well we're having a meeting and okay. we own this building as a community center, so right. we're having a meeting today and all of a sudden there's all these cop cars and intimidation and we don't know why. We're very oh. feeling very intimidated and threatened by this presence and so we're documenting it. Okay, well we're just uh, we plan to stay in the parking lot today. Oh in this parking lot? Yeah. Okay, so is there a reason for that? Well I'm asking, that's all. Asking oh are we planning to stay in the yeah. parking lot? Yeah. No, we're just having a meeting. It's gonna be over three until all this happens. Not okay. make a meeting very uh, comfortable or safe feeling. Okay, well, I'm sorry to feel that way. Okay. <laughs> I mean, how are we? How are we being made to feel here? Really? I mean, we're being. And the second someone leaves, they're writing all the license plates down. They're videotaping us. They pulled somebody over who we can't find. How are we being made to feel here? Okay. So we're, it, we're obviously being intimidated. We don't okay. know why. We don't right. appreciate it. There's no reason for you to be here watching right. us. The finish that you're saying you're, we're staying in the parking lot today, right? We're having a meeting. Okay. We're not staying no, here. We're so having. Yes. Yeah, I came in to find out what's going on. So. You on private property? All right. Well. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, have enjoy your meeting. Okay. We will. We can get back to it if we can do that without the disruption. Okay. Thank you. you have a nice day. All right. You too. This is inappropriate. It's a right. harassment. It's straight up harassment. You on private property, having a meeting peacefully. Nothing's going on. They don't have a right to come here and do that. Somebody ought to be on the phone to Chief Moore's office or Duffy's office. I don't have it, but we can get it. Call 911. Yeah, I don't know why there's such a big uh, police presence for our meeting. Is there a reason why? Uh, probably it was yesterday. Well, yeah, but we're just having a meeting you know, yesterday. Oh, you're not going to go out and shoot them? No, there's no demonstration oh. planned, absolutely. And um, well, I would think after yesterday's behavior, the police wouldn't want to be intimidated enough right now after the excessive use of force and brutality. Well, I wasn't there yesterday. Oh, so you didn't get to have the fun of cracking heads. <laughs> Darn. Well, I thought if anybody got, got the head cracked. Yeah. 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 Well, we have some, yeah, people Get's stitches if you want to see them, but you won't believe it. Uh, but yeah, we're having a peaceful meeting, as was our demonstration yesterday, despite what you may have heard. Uh, well, I wasn't there. So. Yeah. I'm just going by what I, what I, what I Yeah, I'm just going to well, in the 60s, it will have peaceful treatment. That's not what's Yeah, why is that? How come I don't know. How come it's uh, at the hands of those that have all the pepper over spray and, don't forget and dogs generation. and billy you know, clubs that somehow I, it doesn't become peaceful anymore? I was beats in, I was we, never, we never beat up each other, beat up ourselves. You I know was what in I mean? Washington in the 60s. just came out of Vietnam, and this is what I saw. Uh, and it's ugly. It's got yeah, to stop. Yeah. You know. You know. There, there's no crime to youthful people holding banners and displaying their consciousness and no, their there's freedom not. of speech. There's no problem with that. I and slow, if the, and if I the slow cops, stay on the sidewalk. Yeah, well, but see, if you look at the video, all of the arrests, except for two, happened on the sidewalk after the order of dispersal was given. So I just believe that the Rochester Police Department needs to have more training in crowd dispersal and control because you had 40 officers out there with a demonstration of 60 peaceful youth activists. It was totally outrageous and uncalled for how you escalated the violence immediately. You need to look at that as a police force, and I hope you're willing to do that, because we are going to demand uh, a review board, uh, you know, judicial police review board to talk about these violations that happened and the oppression that's happened. Well, I think
I want to act in good faith and on an individual basis and that's why we really need you guys to be noble and because honestly yesterday I firsthand saw indisputable racism and I don't want to have that kind of relationship with the people supposed to protect my community. So I think it's important for you to know that we're not here to completely disband ourselves from you, but we are here to say, if you do something that's unacceptable, you better admit it, no matter the power dynamic. That's true. That's true. When I wasn't there yesterday. I don't know what inspired. All I got secondhand stuff from the news media that I heard on, on the radio and stuff like that. That's all I got. I don't want to think that police are racist or um, authoritarian or ridiculous. No, I don't think the meeting ended at about 4.30 p.m. as people left for a city council meeting to consider whether there ought to be an investigation into the police brutality from the day before. One police car and scooter continued to stake out on the corner for 15 minutes after the meeting had dispersed. So the rent always be late. Can you relate? We living in a police state.